Amid the fierce waves of the open ocean, China is building a mechanical marvel, a massive offshore wind farm that pushes the limits of human engineering. Home to the largest turbines on the planet, this site stands as a symbol of a technological race the world can't ignore. Each turbine rises proudly above the sea, its steel arms slicing through the sky as they spin endlessly in the roaring wind. This megastructure has stunned the world with its ability to generate up to 1.6 billion kilowatt hours of electricity every year. But what's really happening inside this modern giant? How can it withstand typhoon-level winds reaching Category 17 and still produce clean energy in a place once thought impossible? Get ready us because you're about to step inside the heart of a beast that creates power. Every year, the world welcomes around 80 million new people, an astonishing number that drives an unprecedented wave of urbanization. Land is becoming scarcer and more expensive. Vast windfields on shore are giving way to concrete, while the most ideal climates for wind power are disappearing due to industrial expansion or public opposition. In this context, the ocean has emerged as the new frontier of energy, a place where giant blades can spin freely in the open air without barriers or complaints. The United Kingdom once led the charge with Dogger Bank, 237 massive turbines standing tall in the North Sea. But as Europe slowed down under rising costs and shifting policies, China accelerated. They didn't just catch up, they surged ahead, building an offshore wind farm of only 139 supersized turbines completed in record time. To raise those massive turbines above the rolling ocean, an unprecedented seabed survey had to be carried out. Specialized vessels equipped with GPS, sonar, and ROV robots set out to measure depth, analyze geology, currents, and the stability of the seafloor. At the same time, experts collected meteorological and oceanographic data, tracking wind direction, waves, and tides, to design foundations as solid as tree roots gripping the ocean floor, ensuring the entire wind farm could stand firm against the forces of nature. Once the ocean surface had been marked with perfectly precise coordinates, construction officially began, where gigantic steel skeletons were raised from the sea like the pillars of a new civilization. The four-legged foundation frames, each over 70 meters tall and weighing up to 1,200 tons, were prefabricated in coastal yards and transported offshore by semi-submersible heavy-lift vessels with a carrying capacity of more than 30,000 tons. When the vessel reached the installation site, it gradually lowered its buoyancy until the foundation frames surfaced among the waves, ready for the millimeter-accurate lifting phase. On deck, two colossal cranes each capable of lifting 2,000 tons, worked in unison, hoisting the frame slowly out of the water before lowering it vertically into the surveyed position. Each of the four massive steel legs was then driven deep into the seabed by hydraulic hammers delivering hundreds of tons of force, creating an anchor strong enough to withstand 15-meter waves in Category 17 gusts. Throughout the process, Laser sensors and gyroscopes constantly monitored tilt and depth, keeping deviation within just 0.25 degrees. Once the structure was stabilized, engineers welded the joints and poured grout reinforcement, transforming the enormous steel frame into a root system, gripping the ocean floor more than 40 meters below. After the massive steel foundations had settled securely in the sea, the ports once again came alive glowing like vast production lines preparing to send mechanical giants into the ocean. At the industrial harbors of Fujian and Guangdong, towering cranes over 120 meters tall worked relentlessly, weaving between colossal components. Tower sections, nacelles, and blades rolled out of the factories one after another, hauled by specialized trailers to the docks, where engineers aligned each piece with pinpoint accuracy. Under the harsh glow of floodlights, the giant cranes rotated gracefully, lowering each part onto the deck of a Yinhurt 90-meter-long semi-submersible vessel. On deck, engineers inspected every securing point, while below, the tide quietly began to rise around the hull. The fleet slipped away from the port without a word, bound for a site 60 kilometers offshore, 
where winds could reach force 15 and waves towered over 12 meters. One wrong move could send hundreds of tons of steel plunging into the depths. Yet the workers stood firm, gripping the steel railings, their resolve steady, carrying forward a dream known as humanity's pursuit of energy. Amid the rolling waves of the open sea, the massive transport vessel reached the installation site, carrying the tower section ready to merge with the steel foundation waiting below the surface. From the main deck, a specialized floating crane came to life, lifting a seamless column 130 meters tall and weighing nearly 600 tons, all under fierce winds and heavy swells. The entire ship was held steady by a dynamic positioning system with an accuracy of just a few centimeters allowing the steel column to be lowered perfectly vertical onto its predetermined coordinates. On the operation platform, engineers monitored laser and 3D camera data, fine-tuning every angle to ensure the base flange aligned flawlessly with the foundation frame. Once the two giant structures met, hydraulic machines tightened hundreds of ultra-strong bolts in unison, fusing everything into a single rigid spine for the colossal machine. Under sunlight shimmering across the waves, the steel column rose into the sky as tall as a 40-story building, standing proud and unwavering like a monumental needle marking humanity's conquest of wind and sea. At the top of the newly completed steel tower, tension hung in the air as the nacelle, the heart of the turbine, was prepared for installation. This oval-shaped unit weighing nearly 400 tons, houses the gearbox, main shaft, and generator system. Offshore, the massive floating crane rotated slowly, lifting the nacelle more than 100 meters into the air, where engineers waited on the platform. Every centimeter of movement was monitored through inertial sensors and positioning cameras, as even the slightest deviation could cause the steel structure to collide with the tower and result in millions of dollars in damage. As the nacelle was lowered into place, alignment bolts locked precisely onto the bearing mount. The hydraulic system automatically tightened the joints, linking the generator assembly with the tower body. Inside, engineers inspected the power cables, oil lines, and cooling systems to ensure the nacelle could rotate freely 360 degrees with the wind. On deck, the entire crew held their breath as the massive unit settled onto the tower's peak, marking the moment when the giant machine took its very first heartbeat. With the nacelle finally secured atop the tower, the entire site fell silent. It was time to give the turbine its wings to bring it to life. Three enormous blades rested on the ship's deck, glimmering like fish scales under the ocean sun. Each blade stretched over 108 meters long, weighing around 50 tons, made from carbon fiber reinforced with epoxy resin, flexible yet three times stronger than steel. The offshore crane turned slowly, lifting the first blade into the sky. As the wind brushed across its surface, the blade quivered softly, like a giant white ribbon suspended in midair. High above, engineers stood ready inside the nacelle guiding the rotor hub to open like a hand reaching out. When the blade's root aligned and locked into the shaft, a metallic clang echoed, the sound of life beginning. Titanium bolts were tightened one by one, and a hydraulic system adjusted each blade's angle to achieve perfect balance. Against the deep blue sky, the steel structure transformed into a living giant, ready to embrace the wind and make its very first rotation in history. As the giant blades spun across the blue horizon, a few nautical miles away, another massive steel structure began to rise from the sea. The offshore substation, the nerve center of the entire wind farm. From the mainland, a 20,000-ton transport vessel cut through the waves, carrying an enormous electrical module over 50 meters high, with two technical levels and dozens of cabinets housing transformers, circuit breakers, and control systems. When the ship reached its designated position, the ocean seemed to fall silent, broken only by the hum of engines and the whistle of wind over steel. On deck, a heavy-duty floating crane came to life, slowly lifting the nearly 10,000-ton structure from the vessel's hull. Every movement was guided by laser positioning systems, 
ensuring the massive module was lowered with centimeter-level precision onto the foundation waiting below the waves. Marking the moment the ocean witnessed another colossal electric heart awaken. Inside the substation, hundreds of meters of high-voltage submarine cables were manually connected by electrical engineers. Every joint was tested for resistance and perfectly insulated before being linked to the main system. All the energy generated by the turbines flows here, passing through capacitor banks, converters, and massive transformers with a total capacity of up to 800 megawatts, equivalent to a medium-sized onshore power plant. The voltage is stepped up from 66 kV to 220 kV before being transmitted through undersea cables stretching for tens of kilometers, eventually integrating into the national power grid. The substation is now connected to the grid, and the entire wind farm operates like a living organism in the middle of the ocean. More than a hundred giant turbines spin in unison, generating an average of 1.6 billion kilowatt hours of electricity each year, enough to power nearly 2 million households and bring China over $200 million in clean energy revenue. In the onshore control center, engineers monitor data transmitted from every turbine, wind speed, torque, bearing temperature, load current, and nacelle pressure. The automated control system continuously adjusts blade angles and rotation speeds to optimize output, even under strong winds and heavy waves. Each turbine is monitored by a network of vibration and magnetic sensors, ensuring stable operation 24 hours a day. Compared to a coal plant of similar capacity, this project cuts nearly 900,000 tons of CO2 emissions annually, a major step toward carbon neutrality and protecting the oceans from pollution. Throughout the 25-year lifespan of an offshore wind turbine, maintenance is the key to ensuring performance and safety. Two maintenance engineers hang suspended in midair, supported only by a few steel cables anchored to the massive tower swaying gently in the wind. Below them, waves crash endlessly against the sea surface. Above, blades over a hundred meters long are temporarily halted for inspection. Even a small crack in the composite surface could shut the turbine down, causing losses of more than $200,000 per day. The engineers carefully clean sensors, replace bearings, and apply anti-corrosion coatings, tasks that may seem simple but determine the entire wind farm's energy output. It's a job that offers an enviable salary, reaching up to $100,000 a year, yet it demands absolute courage in the face of the open ocean. Would you take on a job like that for such a reward? Amid a wave of new technology, China is testing a bold innovation, the Vacuum Suction Foundation, a breakthrough alternative to traditional pile foundations. Instead of drilling deep into the seabed, this design uses negative pressure to suction the structure firmly into the ocean floor, reducing costs by up to 40% and cutting installation time to just a few hours. The Vacuum Foundation is a massive cylindrical structure, about 12 meters tall and nearly 20 meters in diameter, built from high-strength steel as a single piece. Once transported to the installation site, the semi-submersible vessel lowers its buoyancy to place the foundation onto the seabed. Immediately, the vacuum pump system begins extracting water from inside the chamber, creating negative pressure that anchors the structure tightly into the sandy seabed more than 6 meters deep. This design allows turbines to withstand 15-meter-high waves and Category 17 winds, all without driving a single pile. On the shoreline, amid the thunder of steel and wind, the assembly of a giant turbine unfolds like a ritual of modern engineering. Tower sections are lifted upright by massive hydraulic systems, each joint tightened with precision torque machines. At the top, the 500-ton nacelle is aligned automatically while three 110-meter blades are mounted in a star-shaped pattern on a horizontal frame. Once locked, the 250-meter structure stands as one seamless unit, ready to harness the wind. Onshore assembly cuts construction time by over 40% and reduces offshore weather risks. From the coastal yard, a semi-submersible vessel carries the 1,600-ton turbine out to sea. The DPS system keeps the ship steady within 10 centimeters, even amid 10-meter waves. 
As the vessel lowers its buoyancy, the main crane and laser sensors guide the turbine precisely onto the vacuum foundation. The entire site falls silent as the final bolts tighten, marking the moment when wind and steel finally unite in the heart of the ocean. Where the sea meets the sky, the giant wind turbines never stop turning, transforming the wind into light for millions of homes, a living testament to human intelligence and ambition. Each rotation not only generates electricity, but also fuels faith in a greener, more sustainable future. Today, the ocean is no longer a boundary, but the beginning of a new chapter in China's quest for clean energy. Stay with Mandarin Tech as we continue exploring the greatest technological marvels on Earth.